G'day guys, welcome back to After Plenty Gardens. I thought I'd show you the fish, most of all, I'm going to check out the fish first. Um, here I've got about 100 red nails, about 20 Mozambique, about 10 blues, and also I think about 20 blue nails, um, and also about 10 wami or Columbia Horror. Um, um, these will be my new future breed, breeding stuff. I'm a little bit scared of them, a bit camera shy. But, um, yeah, that'll so come up in a second and we'll have another quick look. It's got all the automatic feeders on all my tanks now. These are from Einheim, who come from here in Germany, Switzerland. Um, just gonna get a peek at the little baby fish. Sad. 1,200 baby fish in here. He's a, a hybrid I've been working on. He's a Wami cross for blue nails, silver nails, what are you going to call them? Blue nails. Um, they grow very, very fast. Um, they'll be ready in about four to five months from this age. Um, but this is only due to very high oxygen levels and very clean water, as you can see. You can see the bottom of my tank. Oxygen levels are around 8 to 9 milligrams per litre, pretty much all saturated. This is a fish with a very, very high metabolism rate. Um, food conversion ratio is absolutely perfect at the moment 1.1 kilo of food to 1 kilo of fish. Okay, let's see what's going on in the grow room. These are all chili plants I planted last month. Um, I can have a quick look at the date. I'm quite sure they'll plant on the 3rd of the 6th So now it's the 30th of the 7th So a bit over a month old And they're already all producing chilies um, So I've got some chilies in here Plenty of chilies around Starting to grow a lot of experimental crops in here again Doing a lot of experimenting with um, cuttings Doing my own I'm um, trying to propagate my own plants, speed up the process even further. As you can see the chilies are doing wonderful. I don't tie them up. So these eight plants are actually laying on the ground and it gives me more root height. Um, those ones are actually laying on the ground too. Don't ask them why they're actually so big that they are putting these plants just actually so big it just keeps falling over. You can see the size of the chilies in here. Um, they're actually huge. Like these are uh, hot cayenne peppers. Couldn't touch my eyes now. There's some lemongrass going on there. Lots of salads and so. Salads are almost finished, gotta pull them out. See it's a bit dead at the moment. Over here, did a big harvest last week from all the capsicums, um, pepperoni, whatever you want to call them. Big basil, basil plant up the back up there. We did a big harvest of basil, made some pesto sauce and so. And a couple of basil plants left, some more chilies. I said I wouldn't grow any more um, chilies and so on the side because the NFT is actually flood when the root systems get too big, they'll block it up and they did flood when I had a big pepperoni plant in there. But somehow he ended up back over here again and we'll see how it goes, we'll probably move him soon. We've got all new plants coming here this week, probably this afternoon actually. My wife gives me a hand, I'm always so busy. There's um, chives, they get cut all the time, it's pretty new plants though. Stevia, these are all done by cutting. Um, there's some, uh, there's a little one here as well. The shtecklings, um, cutting, now they are. Cut off a branch, put it into the system, and it grows. And they've come from this mother plant here. There's a little mother plant there. And there's another mother plant over the back over there. I don't even know what's over the back of anymore, it's just like jungling here at the moment. Um, in here are my mother fish, I don't like to disturb them too much. And in here is the leftover out of the hatching, um, doesn't matter. But everything's going great, um, sorry about the camera work, one second. It's very tight in here. Um, this big bush over here is a fennel plant. 
kennels are just ready to be harvested actually. Um, you see down there, got the UV light running 12 hours a day now. Only runs at night time, saving on power. Uh, all the lights only run at night time. Another chili plant here. Love my baby fish. Um, selling pretty much more than what I can grow. Um, we figured order coming up next week, 15,000. And I was pretty short. But um, I got another five, six thousand upstairs in the aquarium, in the breeder tank. And yeah, these are all tiny fish, they're maybe a week old at the moment. A week and a half old, I think. I think here's a bit of an info for you pink tilapia. They grow very fast, up until 500 grams, and after this they just slow down so much compared to the, the, the blues. And this is why I want to make my own hybrid again. Um, you have maybe a bit of a mix of both, and getting them up to about 800 grams per kilo um, at a very fast rate, and then I can sell them off then. Um, it's better for my customers, it's better for me, and I also like to eat my fish. A big fish kill yesterday, killed um, 20, 30 fish, so it's about uh, 15, 15 kilos of fillets from them. Uh, had a nice fill last night, gonna smoke some up today, put them in the smoker oven, and um, yeah, it's always good to give my customers a little bit of a taste of what they're about to buy, what they're gonna eat at the end of the harvest. Um, yeah, so that's my update. Really happy with that LED lamp. You can save me so much power and the plant growth is just amazing. Um, as you can see here, this is also a chili plant. Um, a few chilies on it. But I noticed underneath the... Underneath the um, white light, I'm not getting as many chilies as what I get underneath the LEDs. So... I think this is a bit of a eye opener to me. The LEDs really are working well. The lemongrass here is basically just to um, heavy filtering. This stuff filters the water very, very well. It's very hardy. And um, yeah. I'll probably take some of it out, put a few in bigger pots, put them outside. And actually, I'll take you upstairs. Um, in the next video, I'll try and edit them together see how we go. Um, and I'll also check my outdoor system. I built a hothouse now. Um, around, I think you've probably seen my outdoor system to check out my other videos. And things are going well. That's where I harvested all the fish from. Got all the I had some big blue nails out of there. Climate control is going really well. Um, this works. It constantly runs at 20% power. And then when it reaches 25 degrees, it'll crank up and um, suffer the air out of here. Great to keep the humidity down and keep the temperature at 25 to 26 degrees. Okay guys, um, stay tuned for my next video. I um, might even show you how I smoke up my fish later on. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. We'll see you soon. Bye.